Good morning, guys. So, I got my fortune cookie soap box the other day, and I figured I would wait to film till Saturday. And so, we're gonna get into it and see what we got. Um, this month's, or not this month's, the season theme was Old Fashioned Family Christmas. Christmas. And this is Jelly of the Month Club official member. And there's the card. And then on the back it says, bring this $10 code to our winter launch party November 21st at, at uh, 6.30 p.m. The party starts on Facebook and it's got a code. And um, then inside you have Old Fashioned Family Christmas. Welcome to our Fortune Cookie Soaps 2014 Winter Soap Box. And there's all the items that is inside the box. And so we are going to get into the box. The first thing in the box that I see is the Melikal Maka OCD hand sanitizer. And it looks like that. And this says, with visions of swimming pools dancing in your head, tropical spice rum, Tahitian vanilla, sprinkled with jasmine petals and twisted woods. Let's smell it. Ooh, that smells really good. I like their hand sanitizer. I've got a whole bunch of them when they went on the sale. Um, they did their, what was it? I think it was like a summer sale. I bought a whole bunch of them because I like their hand sanitizers because they have a smell, but they're not too strong. And so um, it's more hand sanitizer smell, like the antibacterial smell, other than like overpowering smell from everything that's in the hand sanitizer. So the next thing in here is Old Fashioned Family Christmas and it's called Fried Pussycat. Looks like that. The name sounds really awkward. And let's see what it smells like. It smells, smells really good, but there's like not, if you can see that, there's not that much product in there. Um, which doesn't make me happy because normally their items are really filled and this has only got probably half the bottle. Filled. And this is, let's see, whipped soap. This is whipped soap. This is because who doesn't want to smell like fried pussycat? Juicy plum and whipped caramel wrapped in artisan bourbon vanilla and jasmine blossoms. It's a different smell. Um, the artisan bourbon vanilla mixed with the jasmine kind of makes it smell a little different. I don't mind it. We'll have to see how it smells after putting it in, a, in your hair. Um, or not in your hair, on your body. Sorry. Um, the next thing is this little black bottle, and this is the Moose Mug Cuticle Butter. And it says, can I refill your eggnog? Rich cream, egg, and a touch of nutmeg. And it looks like that. Just a yellowy, creamy looking color. You can't, it's coming up white on the camera, but it's like a cream color, like the color of eggnog. That smells really good, actually. Let's... Yeah, it smells really good, and it's not too powerful. So I like that. The only thing I don't like is the fact that there is not a label on it, so you have no clue what it is until you open it or you look at this card. So that's the only downfall about that product. Okay, the next thing is the, old, um, the Jelly of the Month Club. And there's the label. I love how th when they do their boxes, the different labels, they're so cute. And this is a uh, whipped cream, um, whipped cream like body butter. Oh, it smells really good. You can, it's fruity smelling. And it's like a pinky purple. And there was four different types you could have gotten. And I got the Jelly of the Month Club. It's the gift that keeps on giving. And it's succulent strawberry, sweet vanilla sugar, and sticky syrup with squeeze of orange. Um, I don't really smell the orange in this. The more, what I truly smell is the succulent strawberries because it kind of has a little bit of artificial strawberry smell. But it's not bad. I don't mind it. And then, can... It's really, it's mostly the strawberry. The strawberry smell that you can smell the most out of all... Um, two, three, four, five out of all four things that are in the product. Okay, next thing is this little 
It looks like a Christmas tree light bulb, which melted kind of because we're still a little warm out here in Arizona. So it's a little stuck to the plastic. And this is Sparky Hydrate Me. We dedicate this to the FCS family Christmas. Drum roll, please. Scrumptious vanilla pumpkin waffles topped with brown sugar, pecans, and sheets of fresh whipped cream. Okay, I'm going to smell this. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, it smells very, very, very good. I love um, vanilla and like the sweet scents of fall and Christmas. And you can really smell the vanilla pumpkin waffle, which I really like this one. Okay, next thing is the, um, I pledge allegiance, amen, and it's just the shower steamer. It's just white. I'm not going to unwrap it because most of those is not, most of them are always white. And this, when you smell it, it smells like, like the Vicks. It smells like Vicks, and it says here, it's a brisk and outdoorsy blend of blue spruce and balsam fir, fresh mint, and garden herbs. But that mix smells like Vicks, which I actually don't mind, because I like Vicks, the smell of Vicks. And so, this will be really nice in the shower. And I keep smelling, because it smells so good, and it's the one thing that made the box, like, I op when I went to open the box, I could smell, I'm like, something smells like it either broke open, or something is strongly um, scented, and it's this. This has got, this really comes off as like the smell of Vicks, which isn't bad if you like the smell of Vicks. I'm a weird one, I guess. And then the next thing is the fortune cookie soap. And this one is called, Tis the Season to be Merry. And it says, buy this for your wife, God rest her soul. A hint of sweet almond and warm swirls of tobacco. This. And it smells really good. You can smell the almond. I really don't smell the tobacco smell, which is nice. Because when I read that, I'm like, ooh. I'm like, hopefully it doesn't smell that bad. But I was thinking also a little musky. And it's not. It's more like sweet almondy. And then my fortune is... All right, then. If you're not man enough to put... And into this junk, then this junk, then I am. That's a weird fortune. Um, some of the fortunes are really strange. I have questioned their fortunes. And then the last thing in the box is their little mystery thing where you're supposed to guess the smell of the product. It's a little white container that has no label or anything. But this, it's supposed to be a deep conditioner. And it's their annual, third annual mystery fragrance. And if you guess the fragrance right, you get a $50 gift card from Fortune Cookie Soap. And this is what the deep conditioner looks like. There you go. It's like a buttercream looking color. And it smells really good, but I'm having troubles placing the smell. Um, I asked my parents what it smelled like, and they kind of guessed. But it's, it's a sweet smell, but it's also a very light smell. And then there, it's a little bit, it's like sweet, kind of hearty, and then light and mixture. So I'm not exactly sure um, if what my parents said was right. We'll see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in the, or send in my, what I think the smell is um, to them after I'm done filming and we will see if I win or not. I will tell you guys if I did. So this um, this month in the Christmas fortune cookie soap we got the cuticle butter in moose mug, the whip soap in fried pussycat, the shower bomb or shower steamer and I pledge allegiance amen, the jelly of the month club which is the whipped cream um, just the, it's a whipped cream kind of thing. And then the deep conditioner, the Sparky Hydrate Me, the Malikal Makia OCD Hand Sanitizer. And then the last thing we got was the, 
um, little fortune cookie soap. And so that was um, fortune cookie soap for the month of November in their Christmas box. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.